Welcome to the Carriage Commercial Systems video tutorials for VAS Online. In this video, we are going to review how to update the labor rates in your VAS Online system to correctly reflect the new national account labor rates. As many as you know, Goodyear has updated their national account labor rates and you need to update this into your system. For this process, you will need the Microsoft Excel document called National Labor Rates that has been previously sent to you. This document contains a list of all the new national account labor rates classified by location. You will need to locate your labor rate according to your zip code. On this document, you will find three columns. The column A shows the zip code, the column B shows the effective date, and the column C shows your national account labor rate. The first thing that you need to do is locate your zip code. The fastest way to do this is by using the search window. To open the search window, you need to click Ctrl plus F on your keyboard. The Find and Replace window will open. From here, you're going to enter your zip code and click on the Find Next button. The document will search and highlight the zip code for you. In here, you can see that the zip code has a new national account labor rate of $110. Now, we need to update the system to have this national account labor rate of $110. Open your VAS Online software and click on the Maintenance menu from the vertical toolbar. Click on the Current Location Application Settings tab from the Settings heading. The Application Settings window will appear. Click on the General drop-down. The system is going to display a list of all the general settings. Select the National Account. The National Account settings will display. Look for the Shop Labor Rate field and type in the new National Account Labor Rate. In this case, is $110. Click on the Save button from the lower right corner. A confirmation prompt will appear. Click on Yes. After this, the prompt will close and the system is going to display a message that your changes have been saved. You will need to repeat this process on each store if you are a multiple location store. For these changes to take effect on the system, you will need to log out and log back in.